Hello everyone, today is Friday, May 24th, and I want to give you some updates from the golf club. We're outside the exterior portion of the golf club building. Uh, they'll start working on the stucco work. You can see some of the uh, expansion joints where they're going to start uh, the stucco work. So again, the, the whole portion of the, of the wall will have stucco, and then there'll see be some accent of, of decorative stone, and then some trellis work in between. So it's going to be a really great product once complete. I'm going to take you inside to show you some uh, of the upcoming things that have happened this week. If you can see in here, they've started uh, putting in the electrical panels. Uh, they're fairly large and the, the uh, drywall's already started and they're starting to bring uh, all the electrical lines into the panels as we speak. Uh, I'm going to take you into the tour of the uh, men's restroom area. You can see all the drywall has already been put up in the room and they'll start uh, skimming the walls and getting it all prepped for painting uh, very soon. Okay, we're gonna go into the uh, Pelican Pub. You can see a lot of it progress from last week. We've continued with some of the framing in the, uh, in the building here. You can see um, that we have all the diffusers put in for the HVAC. Um, the, the center portion there, that's going to be where the um, bar area is and below will be the bar. There'll be a, a beautiful uh, ceiling and decorative tile throughout this area here. And uh, it's gonna be a really great product. Uh, you'll see over there on the one side, there'll be some decorative fish and then that's where the banquettes will be on, located on that side. So we're on the east side of the building going uh, towards the vista. You can see a lot of the framing has continued and the uh, vaulted ceilings are still uh, going on. Uh, they're framing in the uh, sections where some of the tongue and groove ceiling will go. I'll take you through the space. So all the HVAC has been uh, put in, all the electrical, has uh, started to come through. All the uh, fire sprinklers um, are starting to come in and uh, I'll take you on the back side of the building. We're starting the drywall in the uh, restrooms on this side of the building. You can see they're starting already. This is where uh, the food and beverage office will be located over here. We're going to walk in, they're already starting to drywall in here. This is the employee uh, dining room space over here. Drywall has continued into the receiving area. This is where the chef's office is. Continuing with the drywall, this is where the uh, restroom is for the employees. We have the uh, chemical room over here. We have the uh, storage area. This will be where we'll house some of the chafers and other um, food and beverage items. This is the uh, dry storage space over here. And they're starting with some of the uh, drywall in this area and I'll take you into the uh, storage space over on this side. Drywall has continued in all the storage space all the way throughout uh, this section of the, uh, of the hill. We're in the pro shop space. You can see above us the spray foam has continued. Uh, they started on the pro shop side and they've gone through the men's and ladies restroom and have continued to, into the uh, main kitchen space and have gone all the way out to the east side of the building. They should be done with all the spray foam within the next uh, week. So what's to come for the pro shop space? They will, uh, they're continuing with some of the electrical work. They'll start the, the drywall, the framing's already complete. You can see that the uh, diffusers for the uh, HVAC has uh, started and they'll continue with that. Um, they'll also start bringing in um, the uh, fire sprinkler system on this side of the building. It's all completed on the east side of the building. So this is the last step on this side of the building uh, for the HVAC and the uh, fire sprinkler system. We're located in the pavilion kitchen. You can see a lot of the electrical work is uh, continuing throughout here. They're running all the lines for all the uh, system that we have as far as 
our, our refrigeration, and then all of our HVAC, and then all our cooler system, and then all of our walk-ins as well. So you can see that they're starting with this. We'll have the drywall starting very soon. I'll take you outside to showcase some of the other things that have happened. We're, we're outside the pavilion space. You can see that they poured uh, the uh, foundation for the bar space. Eventually, we'll start uh, forming up the bar. Uh, you can see over here, they're starting to put in the framing for the windows, which will come out next week. So they are starting on this side. And you can take this door. They continue to add the framing on the uh, uh, door frame. So we'll have that next week. You can see above us, they're starting uh, the work of the framing for the roof system. So next week we'll have a nice roof. Uh, this will be a metal roof over the uh, pavilion space. The audio visual work is continuing. I'm going to take you into our data room. You can see um, all the wires. This is Cat5 and Coax is coming all into this room. So this will be centrally located for our audio visual, our sound, and uh, our TV systems will all come into this room and they're all scattered throughout the uh, property and featured uh, throughout uh, all the uh, different areas. Uh, this room, you can see this is all the piping for all the fire uh, suppression system. So you can see it's a lot of work and they're continuing on the east side of the building. Just want to pan over. You see a uh, glass of Marco is starting the framing for the windows over there. So we'll have some windows coming up next week. Well, we're outside the chiller yard. They uh, actually already started painting the uh, wall for the uh, interior portion of the chiller. The electrical has uh, started and they'll have it all tied into the two chillers that we have and then the space for the generator down the road. So the exterior portion of the chiller yard has stucco on it and it's going to be painted the same as the building, which is a neutral ground. It's in the tan family. So it's gonna be really great. So we've had a lot of trades this week. We had about 55 staff uh, every single day, everything from HVAC to plumbing, electrical, spray foam, audio visual, fire suppression. Um, that's just to name a few. Um, and then our kitchen design team, a lot of crews on staff getting things done, drywall team, framing team, um, and then our roofing team as well. So a lot, of, a lot of great things happening. I just wanted to mention some of the things that are coming up. The uh, roof right now, they're going to start putting on the tile. We've got a lot of it staged in the parking lot. So they'll start uh, tiling the roof next week. Uh, that will continue with our stucco wall, um, which is the parapet wall. That will be painted the same color of the uh, tile. So it will kind of just blend into the space. Next week, we'll start flying our, our RT units. Those are the rooftop units. Uh, we'll fly over top and you'll see the crane. So we'll get some video of that. That's going to start on the 28th. So it's going to be some fun, exciting things happening. And then we'll start uh, on the pavilion uh, roof and finishing up that section as well. And then they'll start the stucco work on the side of the building next week as well. So a lot of great things coming and I'll keep you updated as they come available. We're located outside the administrative office and they're starting some of the uh, rehab work. You can see over on this side of the building, uh, any of the rust that was there before, we've cut it out and replaced it with metal sheeting. Next, uh, next process will be this uh, stucco material that will go over on the top and it'll kind of blend in and, and look similar to what we have on the uh, main building. And again, as far as the staff, we have uh, our, some of our administrative staff. So Cheryl, Krista, Jade, and Taylor are located in the pro shop space. And then myself, Aga, Denise, and Travis are located at the Racket Center. So if you need to reach us, that's where we are. I'll take you inside to showcase some of the things that are happening right now. All right, we're inside the administrative offices. Uh, you can see we have uh, the focal wall starting to framed up. Uh, they're working on putting in a new door for Krista's office. So this will be closed off here. And then we'll move over here. This will be a hallway so you can be able to access from either side going on to see myself or Denise or Travis. You can see they're starting to frame up a wall here. This will be uh, a little, little uh, break room for some of the administrative staff. And then I'll take you through the space here. 
These are the door frames that they're going to be putting in later on. And they're starting to frame up. Uh, there will be a, a wall here. Um, this is going into the one office, which will be my office, and then Travis's office here, and Denise is over here. So they're starting to work on here. They're going to start uh, replacing some of the framing in the ceiling, uh, replacing some of the lighting, and then fixing any of the drywall. And then you'll start seeing some of the uh, flooring done and then painting as well. So it should go pretty quick. Um, and then the exterior should take a little time, but once completed, it's going to be a nice product. We did paint the uh, roof. It is more in the, uh, it's called Fawn Brindle, which is in the Gray family. So it's going to kind of just blend into the uh, space and it's going to be a, a nice look. So great things to come. Thank you.